I got the new passport. I didn't get it because my last one expired. I got it because my last one was a low quality product. This is what it looks like. This is the information page. I've had this passport for like two years, maybe less. This is what it looks like. Completely unusable. You can't even tell what country it is. And there's the new one. You can compare it. And you know what? This is the case in which I was carrying the passport. It was passport case. This passport was always inside and it still happened. That's a low quality product. Today I'm going to check out the place where I shot my first vlog. The bus there is in 5 minutes, I'm not going to catch it, so I'll wait an hour for the next one. That is the downhill from my first vlog. I started down there. It's 8 kilometers from my home. I will put that first vlog in the description so you can watch it and compare the quality and like the overall vlogging skills, I don't know. In a little bit over a week I'm flying back to Europe. My flight is to Budapest, but I'll be there for like one day, maybe two. And I'm going by bus to Prague, because in the Czech Republic I have two girl friends with a space between the two words and another girl friend in Poland. So. I need to be in Czech Republic, and in the Czech Republic it's not a problem, you just go by train, just an hour from Prague and you get there, and to go to Poland I need to go 900 kilometers by train, that's a little bit over 12 hours of going by, tra by train, and I think that this might be an interesting vlog if I'll film the whole trip there and back and all this stuff. I also kinda hope that the space between those two words will disappear, but we'll see. This road is so many memories. <laughs> My first half marathon was on this road, first vlog on this road. Probably I'll do many more things on this road. So this is the exact point where it all started. Started. We got here. I was really unconfident, and you know, sometimes cars pass on this road, and I was waiting for every single car to pass, so nobody would see me walking. <sighs> and that was just three months ago. There's the railway crossing. Everything is so close. In the first vlog, someone asked me here, why do I feel in the train? And I totally freaked out. Like, oh my god, someone see me with a camera. Now I wouldn't really care if someone would stop me and ask something. I would just tell them I'm vlogging. What's the big deal? The problem in Israel is that Nothing really happens here, so I can't make daily vlogs. That would be boring. In Europe, I'm all 
boys doing some something, going somewhere. And here I'm like really lazy. Oh. So I don't really do anything. But in the Czech Republic I was all, I was twice almost denied on a flight because I had the penny board so this time I'm not taking it to Europe and that means that the vlogs will be a little bit different that's like an opportunity to make something different to try something different and maybe the style of showing the whole day without the skateboard is better. Some time ago I was running almost every day. I also said about this half marathon I did. So I wasn't running for two years now and tomorrow I want to change it. Tomorrow I'm going for a run after two years of doing nothing and I'll also try to film like the whole day tomorrow so I'll get some practice before Europe so thank you for watching leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more vlogs and I'll see you probably tomorrow in the last vlog I showed you a little bit of what happens after I finish my vlog and as you can see I'm riding on the road in the city center that's totally dangerous and unnecessary it's also starting to rain and I need to get home as fast as possible Totally unnecessary.